Is, is she here, guys? I, I don't even know who you're ta talking about. Who, who's she? I think... Yeah, who is she? Um, I don't know. It, it, it was this, this, this Empress thing on the... I'm thinking this in reference to her. Or... I, I don't know. Eddie, you got any... Eddie, hold you on. Hold on, hold on. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Eddie, you got some illegitimate bastard children you don't know about and they coming for you? What the fuck is going on, son? He's not as high, Morgan. That's not high. <laughs> He's not as high, Morgan. <laughs> Y'all want me to kiss me? But, um, but we do, Eddie does know who it's for, and I know who it's for, and we're actually, ironically enough, going to get to that in just a second, and Eddie, if you want to take it away here. Um, right, uh, coming up next month, uh, Virtual Wrestling United, a conglomeration of over a dozen virtual wrestling leagues, presents VW Prestige. It's going to be a week-long festival. Yeah. Of That's virtual nice, wrestling, bro. the likes of which you have never seen. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. If anything can get our minds off of impending doom, it's gonna, it can be that festival. It's going to be awesome. That sounds like it'll be bigger than Call Conspiracy, and Call Conspiracy was major. It was. We're going to tell you three of the matches that are going to be on that card. For the first time ever, the highest standard of, vir of virtual wrestling, CJ Hawkins, will go one on one with the true chess master, Chris Knight. In an intra promotional match. Nice. Also, in an inter promotional match, for the first time ever, Malik Brown will go one on one with Smokey, and the winner of that match will be the first challenger for the VWU World Championship. Smokey gonna whoop his ass, though. I got to stay for Smokey, man. Watch. Okay, Malik Brown out there. Also, I know. Also for the first time ever, this match for the Queens of Wrestling Championship, it is the Violet Riot Girl Naughty, the champion, the challenger, Akira Yukimura. Yo. Akira has not been pinned or made to submit in two and a half years, but Naughty has made history everywhere she's been. It's going to be a history-making fight no matter what. It's going on. It's what I call the Championship. Speaking of interpromotional events, this man leads the charge of Call All Stars. Championship, that means you are the absolute best in virtual wrestling. That you gotta face the best in virtual wrestling no matter where you are. And Wolf made the challenge uh, about a month or so ago to all virtual wrestling for a challenge for that call all star championship. Let's see who stepped up. Let's see who's stepping up. Oh, wait, he's going to talk. What time has been for me as Call All Stars champion? I've already defended and retained this title in COH against John Blackos, in DCA against Malik Brown, in a fatal four way elimination match in NDP where I beat ECW's Matt Black, world renowned known Kevin Cross, and someone else I really don't care about. And right here in Supernova, I am defending my title again here in CCL. I've already beat Bradley Reynolds, and you poor people are picking the sucker I'm facing. You are picking the man I'm going to defend and prove that he is nothing more than a failure. So I'm going to let the guys on the truck do their job. So play the guy's music so I can give him his 15 minutes of fame. Thank you. 
I mean, very confident. Very confident is this young man. But the question is, whose name got picked out of that? It might be yours too. I doubt it, but I doubt it. I mean, do you have your gear ready just in case? Yeah. Get picked when you see who actually got picked. Oh dear! Oh dear! You talk about a big challenge. Former multiple-time XGWL top champion, two-time former two-time CCL heavyweight champion of the world, former national champion, Money in the Bank holder. I mean, I could go on and on, but then I won't let Chris do his job. So I'm gonna shut up now. One of the greatest to ever step foot in a virtual wrestling ring. Oh, there is. That is not a lie there. This man is another certified Hall of Famer, has won championships everywhere he's been. This is a situation like what Big Money faced early on the night, faced Superman and Batman for the tag titles. That's very Brand true. Brandon Wolf is going to have to fight the match of his life in order to walk out of here with that Call Star Championship. That is very but, true. You know, the great D, we've watched him wrestle. I've watched him wrestle since I started here in the CCL, and that's a pretty fair time ago. And he seems to get better with every match I see him in. He might be the pinnacle of virtual wrestling, at least the pinnacle in the CCL. Less than a week after successfully defending the Call All-Stars title, for New Dawn Pro Wrestling. He is going to have a big, big challenge here. Now, that's not a big challenge. It's a great challenge. You can say perhaps it's the greatness challenge. Might as well be. I see I see what you did there. Here's here's the thing. We know that Brandon Wolf can go. There's no doubt about that. He's not the call all stars champion for nothing. I mean we can say that, you know, this is the biggest test of his career and it is, rightfully so, but at the same time we can't sit here and deny the fact that Brandon Wolf is one of the top talents, the top talent going on today because he has that Call All Stars championship and he's defended it successfully against multiple challengers. And if he can defeat the Great D here, it will only solidify that point even further. Great D testing the big matches, but guess what? We can also say the same about Brandon Wolf. 
mean, the great D has thrived on the on the big stage. We remember at Uprising when he first won the CCL World Title, but then ended up losing it after Gregory Black cashed in his money in the bank. But you remember the matchup he had with Brent Harvinator in the main event. Big match feel there. The second time he won the title. Big match there. Defeated, huh? Defeated Gregory Black for that time. Exactly. A big match. And I believe that was at Black Friday. Black Friday. Black Friday. Yep, Black Friday. And, you know, like I said, Great D can go in big matches. He knows how to get it done in big matches. But the same can be said for Brandon Wolf. I mean, he won the biggest match of his life becoming the Call Stars champion. So obviously he knows what it takes to win big matches. Survived a fatal four-way involving AJ Young, Ben Hopkins, and the Goonie to win the call all stars time. That's the murderer's work. I don't know if Brandon's I don't know if Brandon has butterflies, but I'm pretty sure they're that they're gone by now. Well, Brandon has to be careful here because if he's not careful, if he gets caught into the strength of Great D, he could definitely fall to defeat. Two hundred and sixty plus pounds should be flying around like that. Exactly. A man can fly. In this case, the wolf. Now Brandon Wolf getting in the face of the great D. Yeah, that problem is this. Nope. Oh! That's why you don't mess with a professional. Jeez. Oh, God. I want to say his, I want, I want to say his new golf is staying, but I think they've changed the name the last four or something. Come by yeah. the great D two near fall. Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't know the name of it either. Uh, right? I'm I'm look, I'm looking I'm looking up as as what I'm doing commentary. Hey, World War winning commentators, niggas. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. 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 Well, luckily, I don't have no shit to say about Miami. Miami's awesome, so I'm gonna love. I'm gonna have fun there. Yeah, Miami, the city. Miami Dolphins, however. Eddie said it, not me. <laughs> For once. Come the fuck at me. <laughs> but the problem is, the Dolphins aren't even in your damn division. So chill. Anyway, we'll see the movies. 
we were people. See, I said the shit I said at the big one last last time in Dallas because it's Dallas. Yeah. I'm just saying. Anyway, look at Brand look at Brandon though. Definitely taking it to the great D. I mean, you have to ask the question, is this a similar situation like we saw with the tag title match where if Brandon Wolf somehow retains, it would be considered a monumental upset? I mean, would we consider th that? that, that uh, I, the only reason why I would say n not as much is because of the fact, and I know you're not going to like this, champ, but I got to put it the facts of the facts. Brandon Wolf has already defeated the longest reigning DCA champion in history in Malik Brown a few months ago. That was a huge, huge feather in his cap, whether we like him Malik or not. Great D is, and I believe this is still the, correct, he's still the longest reigning CCL world champion in history, correct? Or is that Matt Phoenix? Uh, that is Matt Phoenix. That okay. is Matt Phoenix. But he's still one of the I longest think, reigning champions. Okay. But still, despite that, Great D has a Hall of Fame resume. He has done nearly everything there is to do in virtual wrestling and then some. This would still be one of the biggest wins in Brandon Wolf's career if he can oh. defeat the Great D here. Ooh. Smith the great D. Um, I mean, good luck with that. I mean, there are not a lot of people that can say they have some of the great D. Exactly. The great D, one of the most resilient wrestlers I have ever watched in my life. At the same time, it may not submit the great D, but it will wear him down, and that will come into play late the longer this match goes. Absolutely. You got to try and slow the great D down because great D, once he gets moving, once he gets on his bicycle, if you will, he will get advantage, and he will end up winning. He's done that many, many times and has won many championships. That's a fact. That's a cold hard fact right there. Uh-oh. Oh! And into a forearm. But here's the a, here's a problem that I have right here. Brandon is wasting way too much time here. With a man of the, the caliber and the skill set of the great D, you can't waste time. Look at this, oh. though. Bang! Get up, up though. Get up, turn by the wolf. Shoulders are just... down and no. Oh. Brandon Wolf trying to think to himself, what more do I got to do? But he can't get complacent. That's what I said about Lauren Croft and Samus earlier. They can't, he can't get complacent at a time like this. Not with someone like the Great D. I ain't saw my wolf. I guess we're going to move, so I don't know. Like, go get it. Oh, Great D takes that too. You're not going to put the Great D down like that. He is too strong. He is too powerful. And he has got too much up in the tank. He did not get to the pinnacle of where he's at by being a finesse guy. He has gotten there by being one of the strongest competitors in virtual wrestling. Oh, all right, Wait, one more time. He's got it. Oh, that's that could be it. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. He won the world title with that move. Oh, no. I thought he had him there. Yeah, I thought uh, so I Yeah, so. Yeah, that electric chair flap drag. Hell, that's the only one I did, but Wolf. Somehow, I think it was just aware enough to get to the flap. Oh, look out! 
Jesus. Two men are just laying it all on the line here, but that's what you gotta do to call yourself the absolute best profe professional wrestler in virtual wrestling. Be setting it up for. Yeah, this is what he won the world title with. Great elbow. That's where he, that's what he used to win his second world title. The greatest move of all time is where the one in his first. Nah. That would have made his that would have made his dance card a lot fuller than it has been. Oh, Dr. Bomb! Dr. Bomb, the gut wrench power bomb made notably famous by the late great Dr. Death Steve Williams. Taylor said D hasn't been wrestling a lot here in CCL, but I'm telling you, he wins that Call Stars World that Call Stars Championship. That man's gonna be in every virtual wrestling federation known to man. of the Boston Crab. Great deep. He had a sense of bound. He could nearly grab the ropes. He's right by them. I mean, Great D is what? Like 6'7"? Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean. But I mean, you got to think about it. He got jarred by that power bomb right. and then transitioned into this. Right. You know, his faculties are probably not quite there yet right now. Right. Taking full advantage of it. Can he do what may be the near impossible, and that is get the great D to submit? Nah. Well, he tried. But look at this. Brandon, Brandon's, Brandon's the first man up there. So the damage was done. Mm. Look at those kicks. A lot of kicks. But again, wasting time of here comes D. Well, that may have been a mistake by the old oh, the old oh, oh, We got a bleeder. We got a bleeder. Oh man. That's a setup for the, either the greatest move of all time or the great elbow. One of the two. He's looking for something. Well, it's him. Nope. 
tell you all something, man. Great, great D has such resiliency, but so does Brandon Wolf. Look out! Oh, look out. Oh, 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 oh my god! <laughs> Man, I, I, think, I thought I would think Brandon, I would think Brandon Wolf would have learned from earlier tonight. Well. Shit. Yeah. He tried to go for that, that suicide spear with splat. They probably didn't suck as much as missing that spear. Oh, hey yo! Oh, that knee definitely sucked. Oh, I think he was thinking about the great elbow, but Brandy is right back up! Ding! What is he doing now? Jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> he built on himself. Uh, right. Oh. We got another blitter! Soon as he's all a great thing, he is down. And it is bad. He's bleeding, that's what he's doing. That was about a 10.74 on the petty meter. That was just filthy. Or in Brandon Wolf's case, why not? Title, I would think. Anyway, he can even if that way is not exactly the most effective. I mean, he's part of the doctor's order. As long as he gets the job done, right? Right. I mean, he's part of the doctor's order, isn't he? He sure is. He joined the Howard Havoc 7 right after he beat Brandon Wolf to attain, Bradley Rouse to attain the title. Oh my god! We go. So, I mean, what, why does this surprise you? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Drive by! Oh! oh my god! That might just about do it for the great deal. What is up? And no! Two and a half! Like I said, the great D is such a resilient, resilient individual. This is form. This is form, boy. Yeah, that ba that was a basement drop kick. Oh, it's gonna be he's lining them up. Oh, kick is blocked. Wolf takes him down. To the old boss is wet. Oh, I can be 
If I could be serious for a minute, looks to the left. Who's left or right? My left. Oh my! Wait, this guy's got me screaming pain right now. No, I think that. that you know, great these time. moments away from putting this away, Eddie. Time. The hot. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, there's no safety out there when you're facing the great D. He knows every inch of that ring. He knows every inch of outside of that ring. Yep. I should put safety in quotes. No, safety is sort of like a state of mind. Brandon recovers with a knee. He's got to put it away right now, though. He's got great D down, so he needs to capitalize. He's got to hit something big here. Oh, fish the suplex! Nice. Right there, Brandon now. Grabbing a steel chair. Like you said, he's going to go to any lengths to keep that Carl Stars championship. That high, you need air flight movie and peanuts. Just the two, however. <clears throat> Great D now. Sorry for the delay, guys. It's always away for a minute. Great D now. He's waiting for. Forearm there and. Another forearm. More forearms. Oh, oh. Well, excuse me. That was a punch and then a kick right in the mouth. Brandon Wolf, ever the resilient dude he is. And he has the chair once again. Waiting for Great D to get up. No, it's oh. <laughs> That's what the doctor's order does. They take any advantage. They analyze every strategy. Oh. What I tell you earlier. I mean, we talked about this earlier when Mason oh. Chronic won the national championship thanks to help from the doctor's order. Most known would be AJ Young. Jackass. Yeah, the Dodgers order are collecting championships left and right. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but so far in, in, in Supernova, has every title that's been on the line changed hands? No. Oh, oh with the Big exception money. of the... Big money. Yeah, with the exception of the tag titles. You really see that at a Super oh. Oh. Wow. Hey, and Great D keeps getting up. And Brandon is pissed. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yep. I, I don't think Brandon's the only one that's a little miffed. 
I think Gray D is as well. Yeah, that. Yeah, that's putting it nicely. On, on a scale of one, on a scale of one to lift, I would say. Oh no! Oh no! Elizabeth Killer! The most dangerous move in virtual history! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Eight! Nine! Ten! Eleven! Twelve! Thirteen! Fourteen! Fifteen! Sixteen! Seventeen! Eighteen! Nineteen! Twenty! Twenty-one! What is it going to take to put away the great D? Oh, no. Well, maybe a match. Probably maybe put him away truck. with all that oil on him. Uh-oh. Oh, what's this now? <laughs> what's it going to take to put away Brandon Wolf? They're both giving everything they got right here. And this crowd is loving every single second of it. They are appreciating the efforts that both of these men are putting up. Well, considering where they are in virtual wrestling history, I mean, yeah, there is a lot to respect. Oh. I'm storied careers. I went, went for something. Nope. As nope. an arguable barn burners every time they step in the ring. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Oh! 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 surprisingly able to uh, kick out of the electric chair bomb. Ironically enough, the most hated, the most hated ref in all of women's wrestling, Nicholas Riley, is in the ring, and he actually did a good job calling that three. In all of women's wrestling, pretty much yeah. in all of virtual wrestling, everybody wants to kill him. Yeah, pretty much. Uh oh. Headlock. Oh, oh. Right, to right to the open wound. Kick to the gut. Off the ropes. No. Knees to the back. Got the knees up. Oh, 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 He's got it. One. Two. He got him. Wow. He ran right into it. My God. You may not like Brandon Wolf, but hey. There is a lot to can argue with the results. Yeah. He is your champion. Yeah. He's the call all stars champion, and now he moves on to defend that championship oh. great D put up a hell of a fight though yeah. as he always does look at that Jesus Christ great D pulled out all the stops and it doesn't surprise me that he did again the man knows how to handle himself in big match situations and this was a very big matchup and Brandon Wolf just proved his resiliency and proved why he is the call for our champion. It's the formerly overused move in DCA history I should say. Miracle he didn't end his career with that. With how hard hitting this match was, I, I'd be surprised if both of you don't have a concussion. That was the second one. Oh, that was the second one. Just a nasty landing on that one. Yeah, but you saw right there, he, he hesitated. I think if he'd have gotten recovered, he'd have probably won it then instead of having to keep fighting. Yeah. It's right here. He's dead. Here's the nasty landing. Splat. Oh. 
but splat. That, that, that's that kind of land that went to the hospital. Yep. This right here, he would get back, he, he would get himself back in the shape right here. Drama! Damn! Don is down there. That's a great gig. Greatest move of all time. For the second time. Got it right. Random Wolf got busted open. Great D got busted open. Both men were bleeding, so you knew that their stamina was starting to wear thin when that blood started to flow. It was just a matter of who would be able to outlast, and here's where it ended. The Virtual Wrestling United page is now available on YouTube. It's a channel where you get to see leagues like this one, and this one, and even this one, and so much more, all come together in this cluster fuck of a show. So stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. Link is in the description. Just letting you guys know. All right. Bye. Everybody want to talk, but they got something to say. But nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish and stupid some bitches act like they forgot about race. That's right. Old raging redneck sees you a little disgusting. I see you talking about who's the best ever in wrestling. I see Brandon Wolf, AJ Young, almost every damn body from forever a bowel movement. But with the exception of a few. You're all leaving one name off that list. One name that's been etched in stone. Chiseled to perfection. And it's right there in front of your beady eyes. Rage and redneck. Ray get it. Either you're a bunch of illiterate bastards. Or just a bunch of blind jackasses who like the hee-haw. 
but don't want to give credit where it's due. Either way, I damn sure aim to rectify that real soon, cause I ain't having that. This is the Armageddon's aftermath. There ain't gonna be a damn thing after that. Five years ago, I conquered wrestling in orange and black, and you sure as hell can't have it back. Cause when you're done with the raging redneck, you get dealt with. from laughing there just now because um yeah I, I'm, I'm thinking he's pretty excited about the prospect of Fred Gettys returning we'll be back in hey the oh, Batman <laughs> Story time with Ray Gettys come on now and he was using one of my favorite Eminem songs come on now he said you all look like a stupid Dre. That's a great song as well, man. <laughs> I love that guy I can't wait for him Shoot. to come back <laughs> He will return at the Big 100 on on Sunday, May 6th. Uh, this is also in addition to Malik Brown getting an open mic. Yeah, and I got oh plans God. for him. Well, uh, I got that is not going to turn out I well just for him. Let you guys, here. I just want to let you guys know, I got plans for Malik Brown on that night. Oh, what was that right? Like? That's all I'm saying. Oh. I got plans for him. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm... I'm, I'm I'm not careful on that. It, this has been this has been building up for about three and a half years, I think. I'm all sick of y'all cock season ass niggas. <laughs> y'all better start <laughs> giving me some shit, dog. I don't think we Pause. got time for that because we got a title match coming up. Um, indeed we do. Uh, in, in a matter of months, <laughs> in a matter of moments, uh, we have. Uh, oh, just uh, yeah. Ooh. I want to see what's coming up next, Mm-hmm. Hey. Christy Montero is going to be defending her championship, and you heard, you heard what Naughty said earlier. If Carmen gets voted in, hell's about to come, hell's about to be unleashed in, in, in this stadium here. Remember Unless the, like, I don't know that. Remember the, remember the uh, no contact between Naughty and Carmen Montez. It's cool. It's cool. Block. Yeah, but. Naughty don't give a shit about that. Yeah, Naughty don't give a shit about that. Here's the thing. I don't think he's Carmen does either. No. Ooh. No, she does not. Anyway, we asked you who's John Mr. Montero for the TCL Women's Tower. Hey, Mr. Steven Blackfoot, I'm going to put that down at the bottom. Naughty, Carmen, Sam is telling us to start working on someone else. Let's just go. Carmen for the end. Amber Stevens. I am going to with Amber too. I've known her for the last five years. She deserves Just this spot. She got, she, she got screwed out of it. She got screwed out of it. All I know is Amber's been good to me when it came to getting talent from her academy. That's all I guess to say. I'm going with Amber Stevens because Amber Stevens has been pinned to make the submit in like over a year. Amber, but, Let's find out. Finally, yeah. just right on oh, Boy, Here we go. This is going to be good, gentlemen. Look, look at this. Kyra Car and Carmen were tied for third. Wonder Woman versus Not even, not even in the top five. Wow. I guess that, that I guess so. I guess everything that's been going on with Naughty over the last couple of months affected the vote. Yeah. You know, people are kind of trying to figure out which side she's on, and I guess that led to her not being even on the top five. I mean, they're, they're, they're sleeping on her right now. Look, look at this. We're about to get, we're about to get Amber. We're about to get Christy Amber too, guys. Yeah, yeah we, we know how the last one went. Go easy on me. Tup, 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 turn it up.
Yes, guys, I am fist pumping. Don't judge me. I think we all are, man. Okay, not. It's infectious. Gentlemen, they, you can call her whatever you want to call her. You can call her the Queen of Capoeira. You can call her the Barefoot Brazilian Bombshell. Whatever you want to call her. You've got to call her one thing, and that is one of the most successful, one of the most dominant, and one of the most unique individuals in the world of virtual wrestling. Yeah, champ, you noticed one thing that Chris did not say in that introduction? Don't tell me I just fucked up and called her something she's not. Yeah, you did just fuck up and call her something she's not because at the New Dog Pro Call All-Stars Valentine's Day Bonanza Special, Amber Stevens lost the Call All-Stars Women's Championship, but she didn't get pinned to lose the belt. She couldn't continue the match. So Amber's coming into this really pissed off at the moment. By the way, that, by the way she lost the Call All-Stars Women's title six days ago. Mm-hmm. And six days ago... We thought she had a concussion in that match. She got dropped on her head several times, and guess what Christy likes to use? The Brazilian Brain Buster and the uh, Sao Paulo Special. And a, whole bunch so, uh, of, and a whole bunch of other kicks. Mm-hmm. So Amber's got to be really careful here in this match. I really got to lighten up my schedule. I cannot believe I didn't know that she lost the fucking title. And again, that's six days ago. And here's something that you forgot to mention, D-Wall. We have a very angry Amber Stevens in that ring right now who loves to punch and kick herself. And yeah. an angry I would not want to be Chrissy Montero right now. And an, ang and an angry Amber Stevens is a oh! dangerous Amber Jesus, Stevens. Jesus, did you see right there? Wood! No! I, I just gotta... I mean... Amber Stevens already oh, is angry, oh. angry enough because of the fact that... Wait a minute. One. No. She feels like she can beat Christy because... Let's be honest. She had that Koji clutch locked in on at Adrenaline and... If Taylor Big Star didn't come tongue. in and interfere... That match was over. Just about, just, just about two months ago, Amber Stevens had Christy Montero beat for the CCL last time. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. She had I her remember the that. Coach. I was there. She had her in the Koji clutch and only one. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus. Wow. My God in heaven. Only but, one person oh. has gotten out of the Koji clutch. Yeah, but, champ, but, what were you going to say? Gentlemen, I mean, you guys just made the mention of a specific name, that being Taylor Star, Miss Money in the Bank. You got to wonder if both of these women are going to be looking over their shoulder for her. At the same time, after what Amber Stevens did to her on a, a few adrenalines ago, does, does Taylor really want to mess with Amber again? That was one of the only ideas. Yeah. Yeah. Colt 45. She, she, she got her ass beat by Amber Stevens on that night. Yeah, I don't sure think. That, yeah, I'm sure Taylor. I'm sure Taylor Star don't want that smoke, but no. no. But you guys think? You gotta think after after this match is most likely gonna be a hellacious one at that. You gotta think that if you're in Taylor oh, Star's oh position, oh, that would. Oh, Amber that doing the smart thing, going after the legs of Christy, trying to take out those kicks early. And to, uh oh, be the here we go. Here strike. we go. Here we go. Speaking this is what Amber's striking. good at. And Punching then, people in the head. Yeah, she, Martell probably didn't want them hands, but um, she yeah, got Amber, the hands. Amber has perfected them hands. If, if, Amber, if Amber Stevens gives you them hands, you probably don't have a choice but to take them. Let me yeah, tell you something. Uh, oh. Let me tell you something. God, let me tell you something. Amber Stevens start giving you them hands. That's that's that free smoke. Yeah. You don't want that free smoke. Yeah, you, you get that free smoke, then you'll end up getting smoke gold, and we don't want to talk about that here. Oh! Nice now cover. There's One, the leg. two. Oh. That was close. And that, that's oh, just what I just, oh, God. See, Chris is trying to cover up. No, she off. Oh, she is. Oh my God. She is trying to get a hand up. No, she didn't get her. She didn't get her hands up with those elbows. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus. And, oh, Yo. So young. So so Amber Stevens six days ago uh -huh. loses the call stars women's title, yes. but not by pinfall submission because she couldn't continue. Yes, sir. Yep. Okay, I want to know the name of the referee who made that decision because I want to get him in witness protection as fast as possible. I'm with you. Um, like, I'm dead serious. Oh! Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, kick right the now. And then another one. Big drop kick there. Christy does not want to lose this championship, especially considering the fact that if she does lose the title, she doesn't get a rematch. That's right, that good old super, that good oh old my super claws. Cover. One. Two. And no. It's, it's like we're experiencing a championship breaking all over again. And, and again one, two, uh, three. Five titles change hands at Black Friday. Right. Mm -hmm. Three of those titles, no, two of those titles change hands again tonight. Yeah. Plus two others. And we, and we have two more title matches, this one and the world title match. Oh. That's Jason Wolf and Extreme told me in a match stipulation determined by you. Yeah, yep. and also, oh, Christy, oh, Christy. Rip wise and wise to not try and go for that, but then again, oh, but she spent too much time. Yeah, Dragon Screw got her. Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh look at this. What oh, that, that's an Indian death lock. The reverse figure four. Uh, uh, so precise. Oh, no, one of those painful maneuvers in the world of wrestling. Yo, I. I got a gimp. I got a gimp ankle right now. That do, that does not make me feel any more comfortable seeing that. Yeah, you might want to cover your eyes, dude. Because uh, you you I and a gimp ankle. I you and a gimp ankle. I have a kneecap over here that's been twice dislocated. Oh, what are you talking oh, about? Oh, oh, God, now we just go. No, he no. 
Mr. No, he can just go to Zahaya Morgan. He got, he's got a free kneecap. Apparently, he tried to do a headstand. He fell over and he landed on his kneecap because he's dumb. Oh, yeah. They popped right off. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Uh-oh. Go ahead and get yourself. Oh! Oh! Speaking of getting some, Christy just got some and drove her fist right into Amber's face. Now, oh, uh, no. In the face! Oh, another leg trip. And oh, now, boy. oh, my God. Oh, oh look at SDF. this. SDF. SDF. Shades one of the great you, William Regal. The one person you do and not want to grapple with. And the not-so-great Eric Watts. The one person you do not want to grapple with is Amber Stevens. She is one of the most to do anything with on this on Amber And she will make you suffer. That's that MMA training that she's perfected over her years of being in virtual wrestling. Honestly, I think Amber Stevens is the one person you don't want to do anything with just out of fear that she's going to get get your head off. I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you this much. When I signed this woman June 1st, she, is, she was not the same woman that I see today by a long shot. Ever I'm since... Oh, God. I'm ever since Dante Styles drove her on the top of her head on the concrete floor a couple of years ago, she has been a changed woman. I'm still trying to figure out when this nigga D-Wall going to take his fucking company back. Like, God damn. You talk about it so much, but Chance, you ain't there doing shit. Uh -oh. fuck, go take your fucking company Ch back. Champ, uh, Champ, I might have to do it for him. Yeah, he, he's got a, one, he's got a settlement. Two, Eddie could be, could own the company for 30 days oh! after a six Oh, it's a cover. Let's go. One, two. two. Oh. No. Yeah, I keep Eddie, I keep waiting I keep waiting for you niggas one of y'all niggas to, to oh, give me oh that bag for I can come over to DCS. Jesus. Well, when, if Eddie wins control of the company for thirty days after the six man tag at zero hour, then he can get you that 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 I'm nice not, little I'm, settlement. I'm, I'm, I'm I won't be I won't pick I don't know about the kicking and streaming part, but. And I don't know about the drag part, I, but... I, I will drag you back there. I'm not kidding. No focus on this. But I was, I was trying to make a point, though, about the fact that, you know, ever since... Oh! Jeez. That's a unique maneuver. I think that's called the Sunset Split. Am I, am I wrong? Oh! And it's also called an almost a three count right there, but... Amber Stevens, ever since she got dropped on her on the top of her head by Dante Styles a couple of years ago, she has been a completely changed woman. What and is the matter with this company? Oh wait, oh, no, it was beautiful moves out there. Cover. One, two. two. No. So, are you saying Amber didn't get dropped on her head by Dante and Cecil? No, it was DC. Okay. It was way okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Every time I hear drop on the head, I think CCL. <laughs> it was way before you. It was way before you. Hey, Dave, time. you don't shut the fuck up. But at the, at drop the same time, your it's, head. Also, it's been a... It's, no. been, it's helped Amber, but at the same time, it's hurt her because most of her matches ended without her having to be pinned. Uh oh Chris is about to throw it out. He's something. Oh. Montero off the ropes. Off the ropes. Oh, no. oh, Jesus. Is a woman can fly, and the thing about it is, she she dropped her right, and she landed on the back of her head. And again, the point I was trying to make was that 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 exact maneuver when Dante dropped on the top of her head is actually kind of hurt her a little bit because most of her matches where she can't continue is because of head issues. No. So, Amber's got to finish this match quickly because if she has another thing where she has head issues, Christy will take advantage of that and she could end the 16-month unbeaten streak of Amber Stevens. Oh, oh, come, come on. 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 Amber practically kicked Christy's jaw off her, and she still kicked out of two. Man, she kicked her jaw into the next county, yo. Oof! Another suplex. 
Shout out to the good folks here that have shown us such great hospitality for this event. I'm just saying. Look at Arizona's awesome. Indeed. We're at the University of Phoenix Stadium in Glendale. Oh, my oh God. And that was Those knees right to the midsection of Christy Montiero. The knees. Oh. <laughs> the and now A.J. Monahan having to check on Christy. And as an hey, aside, I am so happy to see to see AJ Monahan back in the CCL as a referee. As yeah, I'm saying, wait, he's back. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Hey, yeah. Amber Stevens is pummeling her about the head and shoulders. Oh, she's trying to she, she's trying to end her career with those hammer fists. Christy's got to do something about this. If she keeps getting pounded like this, she's not going to last. She's going to lose well, the that title. Well, the referee might want to think about stopping this match. Um, that was one. Yeah, Only there's no stoppage. Mm -hmm. Which means Amber's the... either going to be pinned or made to submit for the first time in over a year, or she's going to become Carl Stars, the, Carl, the CCL Women's Champion. And the thing about it is, white cover. Here's the thing, champ. Amber may not have been pinned in 16 months, but she's never submitted in her entire career. She's never tapped out. Oh, my goodness. Christy has a chance. I mean, we've already made a lot of history tonight. Christy could make even more. Amber's got to finish this now, Eddie. Yeah, she cannot let, she cannot let Christy hang on. Oh, this might do it. Yes. That T-bone suplex. He's got to finish it. Beautiful She's suplex lock, by Amber. She's got to lock in that Koji clutch and pin her. That would mean make her submit, because... Like I said, only one other person has gotten out of the Koji clutch, and that was Akira. And that was back at Revelations 3. Wait a minute, Crucifix! Oh! That's made her so successful. Oh my god! <laughs> it, all the, oh! That one was bad, though. But just in awe of these two ladies, they're just giving it everything that they have, everything that they got, and then some, in order to try to call themselves the, the best woman in CCL. Think about it, it is, it is a clash of arrows. Christy Montero, day one on CCL. Amber Stevens joining CCL just a year ago this week. Christy Montero, oh! her second, good God, her second reign as CCL Women's Champion. Yeah, as, well as, being, oh! as well as being the two time CCL Women's Tag Champion and a former multiple time deep bombshell of the year and ironically enough amber stevens is also a two-time women's champion not dca but she won the wildcats title was her first the very first wildcats champion and also the very first call All stars women's champion so amber looking to become a three-time women's champion tonight but christy will not let that happen as you see here But I mean, when it comes to the women, history was definitely made tonight. Laura Carr becoming the first woman to become a Triple Crown winner in, in CCL as a woman, winning the 
Tag Team Championships with Chung Lee, and then turning around and drop and losing the Bombshell title to Samus, who became the second woman to do so. Exactly. Oh, double underhook. Gentlemen's clutch suplex by Amber. I don't think there was anything gentlemanly about it. Oh, and here come the man's again. Yeah, this is what Christy did not want. No. You gonna get these hands. Amber Stevens, a teacher at the AMS Academy, started her own MMA training slash pro wrestling school. And a lot of her students are in virtual wrestling now. Oh! Oh! Oh, that, that, that was not right hand. That was a kick. And that, and that was a Hurricane Rod. Hurricane Rod by the champion. The light is off. No! Oh, a huge forearm. Oh, my God. What a kick. Somebody get the smell and sauce for Christy. Legus. No, 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 no. Legu. That was a one count, dog. That, that was a that was a straight up one, everybody. Uh-oh. That, that was a one, dog. One, 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 one. <laughs> Hey yo, I used to fuck with that song, but that, I don't fuck with that kick though. At least if I were Christy. No, she still didn't get it. It took. She's that's the third super kick in this match, and Christy still kicked out, and now she's back up. We are witnessing one of the greatest women's championship matches in the history of the CCL. Yes, we are, Brian. And we knew that coming in also. Well, we did, but it's still an amazing match. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. We knew it would be an amazing match. We didn't know until about 20 minutes ago who the opponent would be. Oh, that's true. And even when we knew what, who, what the opponent what, who the opponent was, and we knew how amazing it would be, oh, this is exceeding it. Oh, my God. It's exceeding the expectations. Amber's back up. Off the ropes. Can Amber do it? Can Amber win the CCO women's title here? No, oh, I oh, oh, T-bone suplex. But can she finish Christy off? She can't waste time. You see her holding her arm. She may have gotten a little bit of damage to that arm. Christy now. Wait, no. Oh, jeez. Christy, oh. I, Christy I, I love you. I respect you. But you don't want to go strike the strike with this woman. I don't, I, you ain't about that life. I, you don't want that, that free smoke. I think she is about that life. But she is. Oh, oh. oh. Well. Oh, my God. The Jeez. The yes. stiffness of those kicks and punches you know what, cannot be understated. Thank you. Oh! She went for the super kick again. And now! Nice float over DDT by Christy. Uh oh, oh no. Here we go. Remember Amber's head issues, her recent head issues she had just six nights ago. Leg is hooked. Nope. What is it gonna take? Probably a Sherman tank and a howitzer, or a big move in three seconds. Oh, oh wait a minute! Oh, oh no! Oh! oh. In her face! In the face! On her face! Yeah. Not not exactly the same click, but close enough. 
And if it was about another foot, it would have been. Oh, oh God. Stop oh. Amber's just like, Amber's just taking her time and picking apart Christy. It's only a matter of time but before then again, she's going to hit her with something that's going to take her out. Then again, champ, you let Christy hang around too long and she can take advantage and get the win out of nowhere. We've seen exactly. that several times. Exactly. Amber is very inexperienced in that regard. She's had, Christy has been around in CCL a lot longer than Amber has in virtual wrestling. Tequila Sunrise! Tequila. Amber used the Tequila Sunrise. Amber going, da, 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 da. Amber going deep in the playbook here. Well, I think, I think that's the exact thing she needs to do if she wants yeah. to capture the CCL Women's Championship. But can Christy buy out of it? Wait a minute. Uh-oh. Let's see. Uh, oh! 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 If you hit somebody, all MMA fighters know if you hit somebody, if they get hit in the nose, their eyes start to tear up. They can't really breathe very properly. And oh, and their and their, their nose swells up, so you won't be able to see. Exactly, it gives their opponent an opportunity, and Christy knew that very well. That was oh, a smart Christy. move by. Uh oh, oh, what's Christy? Wow. What's Christy doing? Yeah. Uh, the only the most overused move in virtual wrestling. It's the Double Flex! Can she capitalize? Of course, it's okay. A couple more seconds to get up, so. One. Two. No! Oh my goodness. How is this match still going? The well. The heart of. The, the heart of a champion. Yeah, I should exactly. know better. Exactly. Yeah, you should know better. You won a cyber five years ago. Yeah. yeah. But this is a very... But this is a... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, God. Oh, head scissors. That shit made me dizzy, yo. Oh, wait a minute. Jeez! You <laughs> landed right on her head. Well... Hey, hey Christy got a fat ass, too. That's what's funny about that. <laughs> Jesus! Mr. SRH was saying, Booty! Uh, it was okay to kill him. Oh my god! Oh. One, two, no! Only a two count. That was a close one. She let, she keeps landing on her head, Eddie, and it's, this match is going to be three seconds away from being over. Oh! Uh-oh. Again on the head. Christy is targeting the head and neck of Amber Stevens. It's like this. Amber Stevens got the brain damage, 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 damage. And it's about it's a, now it's a question of how much more can Amber take. Christy ain't shit. Christy ain't shit. She ain't shit for that. She be falling over a couple times and then just bicycle kick me. Oh. SPS miss. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It's got to be it. If she's got that locked in tight, she's got it cinched in. OG clutch. And Chrissy trying, trying to hang on. She she is it's Christy pretty good. far away from the ropes right now. Well, even it well yeah, she's she, Amber's body weight is at the front of Christy, so she can't crawl. Well, this might be going out here. Yeah, but like you said, the only way this ends is by pinfall or submission. Exactly. She's been in that move for over a minute. Oh, well, for Chrissy, he probably feels longer than a minute. 
Yeah. He's a little, like, Feels like Chris Chris a blood is slowly Chris. being cut off from her brain. Chris she looks be, like she's she fading. Out. She looks like she's fading. Her face is starting to turn purple. I can see it from up here. Her face is starting to turn a shade of purple from oxygen deprivation. Christy doesn't want to let go of the title, but she may have no choice. And she no choice. She tapped. She tapped out. out. She tapped. She, she, she passed out. She passed out. Ref stopped this with Evers, your new champion. Oh my. Oh my God. <laughs> What have we just witnessed, Daddy? We, I think we may have witnessed the I think we just witnessed the entire bombshell division start pissing in their pants, having to realize that that's who stands over top of them. This woman, true conviction, Amber Stevens. Yeah. I mean, I never thought I would see such a display by two women. But then again, on the other hand, the caliber of athletes that these two women are, you would have expected. If you expected something different, then I don't know what's wrong with you. Exactly. If you expected something less, I don't know what's wrong with you. Exactly, that too. Look at this right here. Throwing caution to the wind. As only Christy can. Christy oh. did everything she could in this match, and then some. Amber did everything she could in this match, and then some. I think Amber was the strongest bitch of the world. And. I th Go ahead, Eddie. I, she slowed. She slowed. The most part, she slowed Christy down. Yeah. That plus the fact that she used more of a methodical style because rushing in would have allowed Christy to capitalize on the head trauma that Amber may still be suffering from and took advantage. Well, can I just say this, gentlemen? We saw one of the most dominant performances I have ever witnessed in my time as a wrestling commentator. Yeah, yeah I mean, I wouldn't exactly say dominant considering, you know, Christy still... She put up her end of the deal as well. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Six days ago, Amber Stevens walked out of an arena not to call Stars Women's Champion. She walked into this stadium wondering, wondering what would it take to walk out of here as CCL Women's Champion? Would it be ruined by Taylor Star? And right here, right now, at this event, after getting voted in by the fans, she came out here and she took those votes and made them count to finally take hold of the CCL Women's Championship. So I gotta say congratulations to True Conviction Amber Stevens. And I think the other thing is, Amber came into this doubting herself probably. Thinking, do I have what it takes anymore? All these head issues, all these matches that get stopped and I can't continue, do I still have it? And I think she proved to herself that she still has it. Like she still has what it takes to be a champion here. Less than a week after Amber Stevens was stopped, and it cost her the title, Mr. Montreal gets stopped, and she loses her title. Unbelievable. Amber Stevens, your new CCL Women's Champion. The bombshell for CCL, 